Welcome to another daily recap for Wednesday, November 29, 2023. You are looking at a one minute chart of the spiders and the three horizontal lines show levels that were calculated in the spiders before the market opened this morning. And these levels are used to activate trades in the E-mini futures using a unique trading strategy of mine. So let's dive a little deeper into how these three trades played out today. When the 9.45 a.m. candle closed, the spiders were below this 457.70 level by about 11 cents. An order in the E-minis was triggered to sell contracts if the spiders came back up into that level, and they did within one minute of that window being opened. So a short trade was triggered, and this trade was out of the money for a little while, but patience is key. The signal never materialized after about 20 minutes while the spiders hung out above this entry level before finally falling and hitting the profit target on the way down pretty quickly. This was the design of the trade originally, and it worked for the first base hit of the day. The spiders came into 456.74 level next and triggered a long trade in the ES, and you see this little spike here at the 10:13 a.m. candle that looks like a big enough bounce to provide a base hit and it would have been if it existed in the if it existed in the e-mini futures anomalies like this do happen every now and then there was no bounce in the futures like like you see here and the spiders kept falling as did the futures so after a certain period of time a certain signal that i looked for showed up and i was forced to call this trade a fumble and reverse the position and after the reversal the spiders did come down further and another base hit was pulled out of the market with a new short position. So this trade was closed out at the profit target right before the spiders got into this last level on the board at 455.78. So a long trade was triggered in the E-minis. And like the other trades of the day, this one was also quickly out of the money while the spiders hung up below this level for about an hour before they finally had enough juice to pull back up. They never did uh, give, me the, give me the signal that this was gonna be a profit, all right, fumble. And they finally hit the profit target after about an hour and a half over here pretty took a while. Again, patience is key, but this is the third base hit of the day and the final trade. So let's take a quick look at the tracking log to see how today's trades translated into money. The base hits are self-explanatory, so I'll focus on the fumble here, the 456.74 level, where the spiders kept falling after the long trade was activated in the E-minis. The good thing about this trade, well, two good things. The first is the fumble was only about, uh, was less than five ES points by one tick, and on the reversal of the base hit was realized, thereby almost washing the loss of the fumble in the first part of the trade. So net net, the another day another day ending in the green. So I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.